Hi guys, welcome to another declutter. I'm actually standing over my camera, well, my phone, because I wanted to first show you the feet that is ahead of me right now before organizing this. We are gonna try to declutter all of my lip products today. I was initially gonna split this up into two videos and I might regret this and this might be very long, but I decided to tackle all of my lip products together. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is, oh, this is something that just broke because I've had this for so many years so one of these little things just broke but this is a lipstick holder like one of these humongous ones that used to be really popular I don't know if this brand even still exists it's really hard to clean I hate these little rhinestone things but I figured if I take them off it's probably gonna look even worse because of the glue and then these are the drawers from like my Muji drawers I think I have five of them here stacked together yeah we're in for a big one if you you're interested in seeing me declutter my lip products, please stick around. I can't believe that my lipstick tower just broke. I mean, listen, this thing has been around for so many years that I guess I shouldn't be surprised that one of these pieces broke off because I think I grabbed it like I tried to lift it by this piece. So that was my fault. But anyway, as I mentioned in my intro, we are dealing with a lot here today. So no dilly dallying, no yabbing. If you guys are new to my channel, then hello. My name is Natalia. I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty. And apparently I love way too many lip products. 2024 is gonna be the year of me rediscovering the rest of my makeup collection. I started this project this past year in 2023 i kept up with it for a few months and then i had to leave youtube for a while so we're just gonna pick right up from where we left off i do a monthly series called the basket of doom where i hand pick a few products from my collection usually some of my older products to test them out again see if i still enjoy them or if i'm ready to declutter them so i do declutter throughout the year however i decided i want to do one giant one in the month of december to give me a fresh start for 2024 I'm gonna do an inventory sometime in the month of January. Yeah, I, I also want to just clear my head a little bit. Clear some headspace. Make room for, not for new things really, just make room for what's already here. So let me try to get this organized. I think I'm gonna start off with lip glosses and lip oils and lip balms and all the things that have been super popular the past two years. And then we'll tackle probably like liquid lipsticks and lip liners. Yeah, and then bullet lipsticks maybe at the end. I might change my mind along the way. In the past, when I've done my declutters, I've swatched everything. I don't think I'm gonna do that today, because can you imagine? By the way, I welcomed everybody and then like never asked you to subscribe, got distracted because I have a squirrel brain. So yeah, please subscribe if you're here for all this craziness. Let's do this. Okay, I think this is all of my lip glosses and balms, I hope. Who knows? You know how lip products are. You, you just find them everywhere and anywhere, and they just have this habit of hiding. I have definitely been into the balms and the oils and even just regular gloss. I did not used to be a gloss girl at all, but in the past few years, that has been changing. So let's see how I do here. I definitely do see some, though, that I need to get rid of mostly because they're so, old let's start with those i had these little sets that i purchased i believe either in 2020 or 2021 and they were actually initially going to be going into giveaways giveaways for my subscribers where for when i would hit big milestones i think the big milestone of course i was hoping for was a thousand and um it just didn't happen at the time and then i've had to leave youtube for a few months here and there so my channel's been a bit 
stagnant, which I am perfectly fine with at the moment, at least until I get back to a regular filming schedule and really focus on growing my channel again. So all of that to say, I've had these lip products sitting around and eventually I just decided, you know what, I need to open these and see if they're still any good. And when I opened them, I can't remember whether it was the Kosas ones that were already off or if it was the Tower 28 ones that were already off. One of them were still okay at the time. The other ones had already gone off. So I went ahead and used a little bit of whichever ones of, I think it was the Tower 28 ones that was still okay. And I really, really enjoyed them. So maybe in the future, I would consider getting one of these glosses to actually properly test out one day. But at this point, they they have that no scent scent and like the no taste taste that's like chemically and a bit off and whether they were originally like that or not of course i will never know but i have a feeling they weren't because it just does not taste good to me and clearly i would like my lip products considering that some of them do get into your mouth whether you like that or not i like them to taste nice i definitely the the one place where i'm okay with delicious fragrance and taste is my lip products i don't want any fragrance in my complexion products my cheek products but the lip stuff especially when it's a lip oil sure give me all the flavors and all the yummy sweet scents and tastes so i'm gonna fish these out it's a bummer. I never really got to properly use these. I think there were, were there four of these? One, two, three. Maybe there were only three. I guess if I find more, you guys will know they're just going to go directly in the trash. And there was at least four of these. They were really lovely when they were okay. I mean, look at these beautiful colors. They still look so juicy, like they would be so yummy, but they all have this same weird taste and smell to them. And I am just not about that. So these are immediately going to get thrown out into the trash. Another product, surprisingly enough, that I really don't like the taste of. I don't remember if it had any sort of a flavoring when I first got it, but I've only had this for a few months, is the House Labs, oh, what is this advertised as? A lip oil, the PhD hybrid lip oil. I've started using it recently more often because I want to actually get some use out of it in case it is going bad. Do any of you guys have this? And can you remind me in the comments, does this this originally have a taste or a smell to it. I have it in the shade secondary because if mine's gone off, I should know about it and not put it on my lips anymore. But I would be actually really upset if it's already gone off because I have not had this for all that long. So I'm going to keep it and uh, I guess do a little bit of research on what originally this was supposed to taste and smell like and decide based off of that. All right. I know this, this is not something everybody likes, but I really I'm enjoying my NYX fat oil. I've only opened one of my shades so far. This is the one in, oh, it's mostly rubbed off, so I don't even know. I think it's called That's Cheek. And this is, of course, the dark berry one. You can see I am really working through this thing. I mean, I, ever since I got it back in the springtime, I think, for about three or four months, this was like exclusively what I was wearing on my lips. I really did enjoy this and still continue to enjoy it. This is one of the ones I would like to use up. And then once I do, I will try these other two flavors. I also picked up Follow Back and Mist Call. I know they have a few other shades including a clearer one that I gifted to a friend. I'm really excited to use these other two, but I've been really loving this one. And I like the shade. I like that it gives me a little bit of a that deeper tint so that I really do feel like I'm wearing a lip product and not just a clear balm. So I'm definitely keeping all of these. This is the one that I'm currently, I guess, panning, you could say. This is a product I hated the taste and the smell of, and I thought I would love it. This is the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm in Coco Kiss. I absolutely adore it in the Mango Kiss, and I'm curious to see what other flavors they have, because I do reach for this one a lot, really like it, and I thought I would love the Coco one. It just sounded so good, but I don't know what it is. There's something that, like, in that artificial flavoring that just puts me off. I mean, I can't even tell you guys how badly it puts me off. I've tried this twice. It went right back in the box. I was initially going to return it. And then of course I forgot and it's still been sitting in the box and I can't really gift it to anybody because I have used it and it's, you know, 
it's one of these applicators it is a little goopy that's the only thing about this product that i kind of wish it wasn't quite this goopy but i guess that's because it is a, more of a bomb so it is definitely very thick but i'm gonna keep the mango one still because i do enjoy it and i'm gonna have to unfortunately just toss this cocoa one i feel like i was the last person um in the beauty space to try the maybelline what are these called the lifter glosses i had it for a while it was just sitting in my basket of shame which if you guys know is where i keep all of my brand new products that i've purchased but still hadn't tried so i finally pulled out this one in 011 brass can't remember if i have another one lying around in my basket of shame or not but either way really enjoy this gloss and once i get rid of a few more i'm hoping to reach for this one more often because i just get overwhelmed by the amount of the products that i have so since we're on that topic let's get rid of some things my Lorac glosses so this came as part of a set and i've been gradually getting rid of these products this was when Lorac celebrated their 20 year anniversary i want to say this was sometime in like 2016 maybe ish 2017 i don't remember exactly what the year was but they came out with this beautiful box of 10 i think it was lip glosses and their matching shades of lipsticks the alter ego lipsticks were some of my favorites these are the alter ego lip glosses these are just way too old they actually still if i remember correctly smell the same but they're starting to go i still smell that sweet scent that they originally came with but i'm already starting to smell the start of that chemical transition when the liquid products are starting to go yeah like this one's already smelling mostly like chemicals and it's lost that sweet scent this was in the shade celebrity this was secret agent which was like this really beautiful brownie mauve but yeah these are too old plus i've noticed that if i'm gonna wear a gloss while i don't mind it having a little bit of color kind of like i was saying with the NYX fat oil. I don't like glosses that are really opaque. This is almost like a liquid lipstick, but like a shiny kind of liquid lipstick. I've never really been into super opaque glosses. If I'm going to wear a gloss, it has to be more of a clear one. So I've just almost never reached for it, even when these were new. And by now they're not new. They're super old and I need to just part with them. Some more glosses that I've had for a while but i would like to see if actually they still smell okay because i do really still love these glosses are the buxom glosses so i have the og white russian there's different formulas so this is the full-on lip cream and then this is the full-on lip polish in dolly i love the full-on lip cream in dolly and i've used up at least one of those if not more but i've noticed i've never really reached for the lip polish i think it's a similar thing i think this one's just more opaque if i remember correctly oh wow maybe it's just brand new and i've never even used it because i don't see oh that still smells so nice all right i'm gonna give this a chance because that smells so good and it doesn't seem like i actually ever and i wish i didn't open it now but it's okay i need i need to actually use it because i've had this for a while and then the white russian which definitely you can see i have used the other one was clean still also smells good all right so then we're gonna test this out these are contenders for a basket of doom because i want to see if i still like those glosses as i said the one i've used up completely at least once was dolly the white russian wasn't really ever my favorite like it was for everybody else but who knows preferences change maybe i would really like this now that i'm more of a gloss girl i found another little baby Lorac alter ego lip gloss this is in the shade goddess which was one of my favorite lipstick shades from them and let's see let's smell this yeah i feel like it's also on its way out i can still smell the original flavor whatever it was but i definitely smell the chemical already in here too so we're gonna get rid of this one as well i see there's another buxom gloss this one is in rose julep and this is the full-on lip cream that's the formula usually i like still smells nice all right so we're gonna test Test out these buxom glosses and see about that later okay a gloss that i've had for a while and i just always forget to use is this bare minerals one in sugar let's do the sniff test i don't remember what it's supposed to smell like it doesn't really smell like anything but honestly i just don't use it i'm, I'm not 
supposed to really swatch anything, but I don't think I need this. Yes, it's a pretty shade, but it's it's nothing special. We're gonna get rid of it. One that is super special is this one from the original House Laboratories brand, the one that was available on Amazon. This is a shade that my friend Kelly from Keep Beauty Real always recommended, and I finally bought it when they were phasing this out. This is in Granita, and it has that really cool multi-chrome effect. This is really an unusual gloss in my collection, so I'm definitely gonna keep it. Every time I wear it, I really love it. It's very unique and really cool. The only thing that drives me nuts is that the packaging doesn't line up, so this is not fully closed. This is fully closed. Why do companies do that? I have no idea, but it is what it okay. is. Products that I really wanted to like, and this, I'm not even sure this is really a gloss. This is more of a lip stain, so it should probably have gone into my liquid lipsticks category, but I just put these in here. These are the Lancome, uh, it's their shakers, but these are the matte shakers, so you're supposed to shake them up. And then they have like this sponge tip. Yeah, it has this sponge tip and then you apply. I know some people really loved these. I just was not one of them. I never think to pull for these, which is a bummer. I really thought they would become like a staple product and it would be so easy to throw in my bag. But I've tried to put them in so many of my like shop my stashes and things. And I just always forget about them. They're cute. The whole shaker thing is right up my alley. I love the theming of it, but but I just don't ever reach for them, so we're gonna get rid of them. Um, however, what I am gonna keep, mostly for nostalgia, but also just to try it out again, I think this is brand new too, and even though I'm not supposed to really put brand new products into these declutters, it was in my drawers, so it just made its way in here, is this uh, Juicy Tube. This is in Tickled Pink, the ultra shiny hydrating lip gloss. I used to love these when I was young, like in junior high school and high school and even all through college, so I, I wanna try one again. I'm gonna see what I think. This is a gloss from Iconic London, and I believe I got this like in a subscription box or something, and I really enjoyed it for a while. This lip plumping gloss in Love Struck, even though it's a plumping gloss, I don't remember this being one of those burning ones. I remember really enjoying it at the time, but I haven't reached for this in so long. And why is it so goopy? I don't feel like it has a stopper. Did the stopper like disintegrate? I mean, look at this. This is so goopy. That's very weird. I feel like the stopper like got stuck in the cap. It has a minty scent still, so I have a feeling it's still okay, but this is gonna be so messy. And because I haven't used this in forever, I'm just gonna toss it, because that that's weird. That is just a bit odd. A balm or gloss or whatever, a balm. This is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm that I've really loved, in case you can't tell, because I'm almost done with it. This is another one that I am, I guess, kind of panning behind the scenes. This one is staying. In fact, I really would like to repurchase it one day really like this product it just you can see right you guys can see i have way too many so for now i've been resisting even though i'm sure they recently had a pretty good black friday sale that's how i bought this it was a last year's black friday sale which i remember was a really great sale so i don't know what huda beauty did this year i tried to stay clear of most of the sales but one day i might repurchase that um, same time i bought this huda beauty silk balm icy and i have to say for as much as I loved this one. I really did not like this one. And not even so much because it has the icy feel on the lips or any of that. I hated the artificial scent. It's like the raspberry or something. And uh, you know how I said I really like yummy scents? And I do, except unless they are so artificial that I just feel like I am eating some sort of like candy that I liked maybe as a 11 year old, but now I would think is completely disgusting. I really don't like that for that purpose. And I never reach for it because of that. I, every time I try to use it, I'm reminded of how much I really dislike the taste. And I think it's the taste even that I don't like. The smell and the taste, you know, they kind of go hand in hand. Unfortunately, I'm gonna get rid of that. I love the packaging, like how sleek both of these are, but I, I know I'm not gonna reach for this. All right, some lip glosses that I'm keeping to use them up and just because they were created by one of my favorite ladies on YouTube and these are 
are the Ofra and Samantha March lip glosses. I no longer purchase from Ofra. There was like some affiliations that did not align with kind of my beliefs and my morals back in the day. And then I believe the brand just never fully addressed it. So while I'm sure that there are lots of wonderful people working over at Ofra, I just, I don't know. I'm just not really into the brand anymore. To be honest, I'm not even really into the lip glosses anymore. I think they, now that I'm a bit more lip gloss savvy, they're a bit gritty for me. Like I, I love the way they look. They have a very high shine, but I can actually feel feel the uh, sparkles a tiny little bit on my lips. It's not terrible, but it's just not my favorite gloss. But because they were created by Samantha and I do enjoy using them for that reason, I would like to actually keep them and use them up. You guys can see I'm almost done with Queen, which was named after her dog Aries and Aries recently passed away and she always used to nickname her Queen. So this gloss I know is extra special to her and it was one that I started panning actually way before Aries got ill so I'm almost done with this one. I also as far as the shades are concerned really enjoy Peony. That's of course a pinky gloss and then this one is the one I've only used a few times because it's a little bit too icy for me but I would like to give this another try and maybe see if I can pair this with something and make some sort of a cool combination and this one is in Millie. I have these two lip masks. This one is from Tatcha, the Japanese peach lip jelly. I really enjoy this. I had to throw away my Laneige one because it went bad. So this is what I've been using recently. I would really like to open my Sigma lip mask that I received as part of the goodie bag from the creators and friends holiday party. But I wanted to, I don't know, I just wanted, I guess, to use this a little bit more before I go ahead and open that product. I might go ahead and just open it and try it because I'm really curious. This is the Pharmacy Loop Bloom in Honey Ginger and I never reach for this. I really thought that whole Honey Ginger thing just sounded so delicious and so yummy and so nice. I can't say I really love it though. Like there's something slightly off in the Honey Ginger combo when it's put into a lip balm. I've used it a few times but I don't feel like I use it enough to justify keeping it. I might try it a few more times because I do hate just throwing away lip balms. Okay so I just tried it. It's not terrible like it's not my favorite but it's definitely something I could use up so I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna throw it in my purse because we are in the winter months my lips are definitely extra dry so I'm going to just make it easier for me to use this and put it somewhere where I actually can pull for it. This is a product from Sydney Grace. I'm not actually sure what kind of lip product this is. Like it doesn't say what the name, it says it's in the shade Jeanette, but I have no idea if this is a liquid lipstick. Um, I remember it's more of like either a very pigmented gloss from the one or two times I've used it or like one of those shiny liquid lipsticks. What I do remember is that I didn't really like it because it's too deep of a color for me to feel comfortable wearing in this formula. I prefer my deeper color to be a matte formula or even a liquid lipstick so that it doesn't get all over the place. And my glosses to be lighter in color. I know I'm never gonna use this. It's a gorgeous shade. It's probably a good formula. I haven't tested it enough to be able to really speak for that. I just know myself. I know I'm never gonna reach for it. So I'm gonna declutter it. These super stay vinyl inks, that craze of the shiny liquid lipsticks that just pass through the this past or like earlier this year or last year or whenever I didn't want to spend the money on like the Urban Decay one or the House Labs one so I decided to try this Maybelline one and I know lots of people really love this formula it's not for me I don't know if I just don't have enough patience to let it dry down completely or what but I thought it was goopy and I don't want it um another one that I'm almost done with I've already taken the stopper out this came in a Sephora favorites this is the Lawless forget the filler the lip plumping line smoothing gloss the one that uh, has been like breaking the internet because everyone's been loving this i i think i need to try a non-clear one first of all because i think i would enjoy something with a slight tint and i think this is a product that 
I would need to use not in the dead of winter when it's super cold and super windy because I actually wore this earlier today on my way to teach and I also wore my hair down and let's just say between the cooling properties of this gloss and the brutal wind that was making it feel like my lips were even colder than they should have been and the fact that my hair was sticking to my face the entire time because this is a more sticky gloss which I know a lot of people actually like this product for that reason because it stays on your lips longer but not in this weather in this weather it's just not working clearly i've liked this gloss enough to pretty much use it up but i used it more in the fall and i'm gonna of course try to just use this up because i have very little of it left but i'm gonna have to like wear this on the days where i'm mostly in the car and i'm not running around the city in this winter wind because it's where i have to have my hair up i'm torn on this because bite beauty is no longer around this is the yay Sayer plumping lip gloss in sugar buns i know i've tried it in 2023 because i think this used to be in my basket of shame because i think i bought it at like a tj maxx or marshall's right as they were going out of business i don't remember how i feel about this though so i don't know if i need to put this into a basket of doom and maybe test it out again before i decide i mean clearly i've used it a bit but i honestly just don't remember whether i liked it or not so i guess let's keep it and test it out this is a product that used to be really popular years ago you know obviously mark jacobs hasn't even done makeup in a long time so this is pretty old but i still as long as this smells good i'm still gonna keep it because i really like this this is the enamored hydrating lip gloss stick this is not one of the shades that was like super popular because this I think I also found at like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls because these were expensive otherwise. This shade is 570 Wet Your Lips. It's one of these where you, once you click up, you can't click it back down. So I don't really want to click it too far up. Hopefully you guys can see the shade. It's similar to the cap. I like this. I, I don't love the shade because if I remember correctly, it just has a little bit too many like sparkles and glitter particles. So I do need to test this out again and just make sure it will actually stay in my collection until I use it up or if eventually I'm gonna just uh, like some of these other formulas better and let it go but I do remember enjoying it so I don't want to just toss it right now I want to keep using it one that I just tried recently for the very first time and really enjoyed was the NARS afterglow lip balm and this is in the shade fast lane these have been around for a while and people have loved them I've had this still sitting brand new and and I think it was a recent get ready with me where I decided to like pull out a bunch of brand new products to me that I finally tried this for the first time and I really enjoyed it. So definitely want to get some more use out of that since I've only used that once. I didn't love this Merit. What is this? This is in Marrakesh, the tinted lip oil. Granted, I think I only tried it like maybe three or four times when I first got it. This came in a Sephora favorites kit, I think sometime in 20. To. Am I going to actually pull? F I feel like I need to give it another chance. I feel like this needs to go into a basket of doom. So I feel like, you know, some of these products right here on the end are kind of still to be continued. They're given one more chance and then we'll see how it goes. I feel the same way about this Persona gloss. This is in Honey. These used to be so popular. And I think I bought this as part of like a boxy charm. What was it used to be called? The pop up thing or whatever when they would like clearance out items let's smell this i feel like it still smells sweet but i want to say there's like already the start of the chemical smell i don't know am i really gonna use this i feel bad tossing it because i want to say i've used this just a handful of times but at the same time maybe that is exactly why i should get rid of this let's do it let's get rid of it there's only so many lip products i can possibly go through and lately i've really been like in a mind set to try to use up some lip products and not just collect them so i think having a little bit less will actually be a, a smart choice this is from blend bunny and i know i have a second one somewhere but i cannot for the life of me find it like for a while it's not just in preparation for this video it's i don't know maybe it's in some bag that is 
in my closet because it was a summer bag and I've already stashed it for the winter. I think they have two formulas of their lip oils or lip glosses. This is the tinted lip oil and I believe this is the minty one. This is in the shade Love Bite. I am not like a huge, huge fan of minty products. And I remember out of the two glosses or two lip oils that I got, the other one had more of like a fruity flavor and I really loved that one. So I really want to find it. And then this one I think was more of a minty one and I really did not enjoy it. And I haven't been really reaching for it ever since. It's again a shame because it's practically brand new. I've only tried it a handful of times, but I also don't see why I need to be collecting something if it didn't work out for me. Is this a gloss or is this a liquid lipstick? Oh, this is a matte liquid lipstick. All right, let's save that because we're going to do that next. This Shiseido, what are you? Oh my goodness, these baby letters. I can't. Guys, I'm too old for this. I cannot tell what that says at all. I see the shade name because that's larger. It's in Vinyl Nude 311. But above that is the actual name of this product. And for the life of me, I cannot read that. But here, it's, it's a nice peachy gloss. It seems a bit too pigmented for my taste, to be honest. But also it seems like I've either never used it or used it only once or twice. So we need to give this product a chance before we just throw it out. So this is what we're left with in my glosses and um lip masks and lip oils and all of that i don't know you guys can probably can you see them these are the ones that i'm keeping and those over there there's a few that are out of frame are the ones that i'm getting rid of so let's count i am getting rid of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 products in this category and i'm keeping 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Hey, almost half. I did not expect that. Wow, go me. All right. All right, let me clear this up and then let's switch into our liquid lipsticks. And here are my liquid lipsticks. And I think this is the last thing I'm doing tonight because it's super late. I think I'm gonna save the liners and the bullets for either another video or I'm just gonna film it at a separate time and then decide whether I'm gonna keep this, as I said, as one big video or split it up after all. All right, this is going to be, I feel like a little trickier than the lip glosses because I haven't used a lot of these in such a long time. I just don't know if I still would like liquid lipsticks or not. I've recently did try one of my Huda Beauty ones and I really enjoyed actually the color and I didn't mind the fact that they were liquid uh, lipsticks like it didn't feel overly drying so I think I'm gonna go ahead and save these two I have the shades Trophy Wife and Muse they still felt well I think I only tried this one the deeper one so that's Trophy Wife I really loved the color and I'd like to still use these a few more times uh, these Burberry ones are also really comfortable. They're more of like a moussey formula, so they don't dry down all the way. They're very thick, moussey, really comfortable. So these I do still pull for quite a bit because they're not like that traditional super matte transfer proof formula. I haven't really used this deep shade, but I feel like if I'm going to these uh, colder months is the time for this shade. So I want to actually give this a go. I use these in the summertime 
one quite a lot and this one I use all year round and then as I said this one I haven't tried in a really long time but I would really still uh, like to keep these I have a feeling I'm still gonna keep using these if you've been in the beauty world for a while you will probably remember that Ofra Cosmetics blew up with their liquid lipsticks they had so many amazing colors each one was named after a city so like you can see I have Atlantic City which was a red I used to use so much this is like the super old packaging uh, Laguna Beach was a really popular one then they rebranded into these larger tubes and I have Verona um, I have no idea what this is I remember I kept like some of the New York ones so maybe the sticker fell off like I should have either a Queens or a Manhattan here's a Manhattan so maybe this was like a Brooklyn or a Queens or something like that to be honest I haven't used these in so long and I feel like they're just so old I don't know I just don't know if I would even even if I were to get back to wearing liquid lips on the regular I just feel feel like these are too old for me to safely be putting on my face. I think if anything, I would just need to refresh my liquid lipstick collection. Because yeah, I have a feeling quite a lot of these are going to go not because I didn't like the products, but because they're just really old. So these are a perfect example of that. I think I need to get rid of these. One that I've been using for so many years, this along with just a couple of other favorite reds of mine, is a lipstick I wear a lot on stage. This is the Sephora... What are these called these are their cream lip stains i think great formula still to this day one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas i just said how like i shouldn't be keeping my old ones but to be honest this one still smells the same i still do use it quite a lot so i feel like there's no reason i guess for me to replace it quite yet once it goes off then i will i think this is like an always red or something i think it's the very first shade like 01 always red i can't see to be honest it's a bit too small here for me to uh tell but i love this liquid lipstick i mean this has been a staple this along with my mac ruby woo were the two original lipstick colors that i would wear on stage for years and years and years and recently i've been wearing a uh, lisa eldridge velvet ribbon it was a gift from my friend kelly from keep beauty real and it has kind of replaced for now every other red in my collection but i still would like to keep this i have a feeling I'm still gonna wear it once in a while. Another one that's a really pretty red is the Persona Holy Grail. Let's do the sniff test. Yeah, this one's still fine too. These don't have a smell. These are very similar in that sense. They don't have a scent, but they like truly don't have a scent. They don't have that off scent, the chemical scent. They just really do not have a scent. So I'm gonna keep this one too. I know I love reds, so I always keep way too many. That's just always been me. Like I always need to have all the reds all right let's see what i can get rid of oh my goodness this one this one is from lime crime and i never really got to test their formula because uh, somehow through somewhere i just got this one shade in salem and even though i know the brown lips are in this is just way too brown for somebody my skin tone it's like a really deep olive brown i feel like almost it's not even just a straight up brown it definitely has a bit of like like an olive undertone it just looks off on me so i never reach for it so i need to get rid of it one from um lonely planet i think this was an indie brand i don't know if they're still around this was in tie me up this is another one i just haven't used enough and i can't tell if it's separating or not but i feel like it's i feel like it's another one of those that i've just had for too long it looks like it was a moussey consistency i don't even remember anything about this formula so I think I need to get rid of this. All right, who remembers the OG Kat Von D liquid lipsticks? These were so popular back in the day. I had them in Lovesick and Suspiria. I remember I even used to mix these together. Beautiful packaging. These were so popular, but I've had these for so long. This was the shade.
shade that I really loved, but I just don't know. I don't know if it's safe anymore. I think I need to get rid of this. This is nostalgia right here. This is a moment. This is definitely a moment for all of us that have been watching YouTube for 10 plus years or whatever it's been. This is like a little bit heartbreaking to part with, but I think it's time. I think I need to. This is also sad because I adore these colors too. And I always liked the formula. These were like the limited edition. Well, this one was the limited edition holiday release from Too Faced. Who remembers their melted matte lipsticks? This is in Candy Cane. And this one is in Bend and Snap. Do we remember the Bend and Snap? These have gone off. I smelled them the other day. I mean, it still has the sweet scent, but again, it's like sweet scent layered with the chemical scent underneath. Oh, especially this one. It's so sad. I absolutely adore these two colors. I wear these in the summer so much like even this past year i'm pretty sure i reached for these at least once or twice i gotta look do they still does anybody know do they still make these i mean i know that this candy cane chain was a limited edition but the bend and snap back in the day was not this was their part of the regular line but i haven't seen these in so long so i'm gonna get rid of these but i would like to see if they still make these because i might repurchase the bend and snap if they do oh this is hard mainly for the nostalgia my god i didn't realize how how many of these i would have to let go just because i've had them for such a long time this color pop what is this the um ultra satin lip in lock diary i mean it's like i guess sort of a similar color to that candy cane sh shade the candy cane one is matte and if you guys remember i mentioned earlier that bright shades and deep shades i really prefer in a matte formula so they they don't travel all over my lips and face and this is a satin formula and for that reason i never reach for it because i'm always afraid that this is gonna get all over the place so we're gonna get rid of that i'd like to test out the lawless uh lipstick a little bit more this is in george i remember i wore this a lot when i first got it and then i stopped wearing it for some reason i think it's still okay i guess obviously once i try it if it tastes weird or whatever i can get rid of it at that time same with my dose of colors lipsticks like these liquid lipsticks were all the rage and i absolutely love them i went through an entire tube of truffle and then replaced it so i'd like to still keep using them and if any of them have gone bad obviously i will just toss them as i go stone is another one i use so much of i think this one is almost empty and then i have a warm and fuzzy do they still make these liquid lipsticks nude mood um, I don't know. Do you guys... Should I be swatching these? Oh, this is going to be so tough, though, to get off. So this was the one I used the most. This is in Truffle. All the OGs, you guys know these shades. This was in Stone. This was one of my favorites. So there's Stone, a nice mauve. We have Nude Mood, which was more terracotta nude. A little bit... Yeah, a little bit more terracotta-ish than Truffle. They're close. But on the dry down, this one has a little bit more of a pink to it. Warm and fuzzy. Definitely has more of a peachy pink to it. That's a nice shade, actually. I don't remember wearing that one too often, but I really should have. This one is a mystery shade because the sticker fell off. I want to say it was like rose something. Definitely more rosy beautiful shade i remember really enjoying this but i don't remember what the name of it is same with this we have a red it's a mystery red that's very pretty it's like a pinky red and then these also have no stickers anymore i think one of them was like a berry me or berry two or something so there we go we have that one and then we have this blood red you know interestingly enough i think my least favorite is this red because it's just pulling really pink Okay, I'm gonna leave this on my hand while we go through the rest and I'm gonna see what this one looks like on dry down because I might actually get rid of that shade. The other ones, no, I'm still keeping all of these. These are gorgeous, but this one is the only one I am not 100% sure of. So these are all 
staying. Okay, my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I think they still make these, don't they? I have them in Con and Prague. Used to love these. These still smell okay, but I, I mean, I'm afraid to know how many years I've had these. How do they still smell fine? Like, they still smell sweet and delicious. I was gonna say I should get rid of them because they're so old, but like, if they still smell fine, why would I get rid of them? What is this? Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Treasure. Oh, this is an Ofra little sample. I mean, I'm never gonna use this. This is too tiny for me to ever remember the existence of. CeeLo also had really good liquid lipsticks. This is the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. Oh, this was one of their like super popular shades. Look at that. That's beautiful. Ooh, yes, I remember wearing this quite a lot, this mauve color. Let's smell it. Sniff test. It's still okay. That's still fine. Now, is it too similar to stone? I mean, it's a bit deeper. Could be because I'm almost out of stone and there wasn't really that much product on the doe foot, but I feel like the formula is a little bit different and this one's definitely a lot more opaque and deeper. All right, we're gonna keep both for now. These are really products I need to be putting in my basket of dooms to see how I still like them on my lips. Let's do the other Stila. This one is also a stay all day liquid lipstick, but this one looks shiny. Yeah, it's Nudo Shimmer. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this Nudo Shimmer and it's a little bit deep color for me. I don't really wear these deep browns very often. I know they look gorgeous on so many people, but on me, yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna reach for this. This is too shimmery. Like that kind of weirds me out a bit. Um, and here I am swatching again. Once I start, that's the problem. Once I start, this is from a brand Real Her in I Deserve the Best. I believe this was in my basket of doom for some month back in 2023. Oh no, it's in Lady Love. This is a matte liquid lipstick. I really liked this. So I remember I actually decided I wanna keep it and keep using it. So that's what we're gonna do. These, Marc Jacobs, what are you guys? The liquid lip, the cream liquid lips, right? So these are not the ones that like dry down. I have it in Truth or Bear and Fawn Over Me. I feel like I never use these. I mean, they're beautiful colors. Look at that. Here's another beautiful mauve. Or do these dry down? These seem quite thick and not like, like they might dry down. I don't know. They smell fine. They're beautiful colors. I think we need to give these a chance. Ciate London Liquid Velvet. It's all like rubbed off. So I guess I did used to uh, use this quite a lot. This is in Diva. It's another red. Do I need another red? I feel like I really don't need another red. I'm afraid if I swatch it, I'm gonna really like it. But I've kept enough reds. I have Persona one. I have the Sephora one. I have the Burberry one. And I have my Bullet lipstick that are red, right? Or should I swatch it? All right, let's swatch it. Oh, that's a bit deeper than what I thought it was gonna be. It is beautiful. Is it similar? Not exactly. I really am not loving this one. I don't know the shade. Yes, it's Dose of Colors, and I do love their formula, but I'm not loving that shade. I'm gonna let this one go, but I feel like that's beautiful. We're gonna keep that. I was afraid that was gonna happen. All right, and then I have these Bare Mineral and Buxom Minis that I always forget about. They're beautiful colors. Let's see what this one is. This one, I don't even think is gonna dry down. It doesn't feel like it would. It's a whipped soft matte lip color and it is in centerfold. Sniff test. It's okay, I'm not so sure. Then we have the matte in Juju. Ooh, that's another pretty mauve. That one smells better. Icon. It is nice, but how many do I need? And Weekend. Ooh, this one is much more warm. It's very whipped. That one is much more warm, even warmer than any of these. Hmm, I think I'm gonna let go of this one for sure. I think because I am, oh wow, that dried down really deep. That's the steel eye, look at that. I think this is kind of similar to that. Uh, what was this one? Was that Juju? Juju? Yeah. I think I'm gonna let go of Juju, and now I have to decide about these two. I think I'm gonna keep Weekend and let go of Icon. Yeah? I don't know. I just... 
Is that like too brown for somebody who's as pale as me? I feel like it might be too brown. And I think I can get a similar-ish look with the dose of colors. I mean, I don't know which formula, honestly, by now would be more comfortable. Should I test out the formula? I don't know. I wish you guys could talk to me through the screen. All right, let's, let's give these one more chance and keep both of these. Get rid of those. And that's where we are. So we are keeping... Oi, 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 oi. We're keeping all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty-five. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25 liquid lippies we are keeping and we're getting rid of. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventeen. So keeping twenty-five, getting rid of seventeen. Not bad. Not bad, I'm okay with that. And a few of these I really do need to test out and I have a feeling they will slowly start to get decluttered throughout the upcoming year. And just because I have a feeling a few more of these are gonna start to go bad or I'm just no longer gonna like the formula or whatever the case may be. I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So far, wow, both lip categories have been a success. And I have a feeling this is where I should also end the video. I mean, obviously, if I choose not to, you guys will probably not even see this part. But I think I'm going to say goodbye just in case I decide to split my lip products into two videos because otherwise I have a feeling it's going to be like three hours long. I don't know. I don't know if I'm about that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part of my lip product declutter and I hope you will come back for part two. And other than that, hope that you guys are doing really, really well. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please continue to stay safe and healthy. Take care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!